Well, the days are getting hot and so are the picks. Got my Texas pick cup going. A little rag there to get going. Let's get the show on the road. All right, here's our first stop, and we got a couple of wicker rocking chairs. Look to be in good condition. Yes, please. They're both in good condition. Yep. <clears throat> Little table. What's in here? Cans. Grass. Alright. Now that's a good way to start off the picking. I'm gonna say it's good. Easy. 150 bucks right here. Easy 150 bucks. Good start. How you doing? much here nah. just these Let's see what's in here nothing post it Give these a shot. Pogo stick. Some ski boots, I guess. What is this guy? What the heck is this? It looks like the front half to a toy car or something. Right. Radio flyer. It's not one of the old ones, but it's cute. Yeah, as you can tell, it's nighttime already, folks. Kind of on a busy road here. These bags are kind of pricey. They're uh, look at this old radio. Two radios. But yeah, those bags are for like motorcycles. Little saddle bags. All right, got some stuff over here. Let's see. Oh, 
got some scrap here. Um, I might take these for Chris. He's been scrapping a lot lately. Oh yeah, these suckers are heavy too. Yeah, Chris has been doing a lot of scrapping. He's been doing real good. Some kind of what is this? No idea what this is. I'm not sure, but I'm gonna take it. I'm gonna take it. Here's a animal trap. See what we're gonna do here. These shelves are in decent condition. Kind of a busy road here, so I'm gonna have to get in and out quick. license plates okay I'm gonna move stuff around guys I'm gonna put some of the stuff in the back get some of this heavier stuff in here so be back in a minute to look at all these CDs Man, I hope they're in here. Oh, come on, man. Tell me they're all empty. Well, some are in there, some are not. So, we're gonna take them all, because we get about a buck each at the booth for these. Stinky. This big old thing. Wow. I don't know nothing about computers, but this is a humongous computer. That's gotta be one of the best computers I've ever seen. for right here and how do you release the brake there we go folks this is one expensive wheelchair I'll tell you that how heavy is it um I'm not going to try to break my back putting that in there. Let's go ahead and uh, bring this down.
big old fan's questionable, but I'm gonna take it anyways. You never know. It might work. Hurricane lamp. Ooh. All right, guys. Looks like we might have hit a little jackpot here. Let's see. We're just gonna go right here with all this stuff. Looks like we hit a jackpot. So, master bedroom books. Clothes. Paper. <laughs> That's an old VCR. I mean, what that? I mean, a old camcorder. Bunch of wine. Ooh. Be a roach. Hadn't been open. We'll get out of there. Do I want to take this? <laughs> okay, what do we got over here? Hangers. Look at that guy's got a good little score. Just gotta find. More clothes. So, surround sound. What's in here? Gloves. CLR. Ah, let's take the whole box. Movies. <laughs> okay. Mystery box. Ben's clothes. Okay, here's we got some good boots. Motorcycle boots. Riding gloves. So it goes in here. Oh. These are good books here. A bunch of hardback books. Okay, I'm gonna turn off my camera. Let me show you what we got. More clothes. Got some more books. Got this Dell computer. With more clothes. So. Books. What is this? <gasps> yeah, baby. Some NASA print stuff. Okay, shut the camera off and load this stuff up. All right, guys. So as you can see, we definitely loaded up. It's been a while since we've done a load like this. Back to two. glad to be back on my regular schedule. And we're gonna start off over here in this little pot. Kind of got things sort, kind of sorted out. Uh, I got a big old stack of license plates. These are pretty common. 
uh, Texas license plates. They're from, you know, the 90s. Driving straight from New Jersey. Looks like you got a set of matching plates plus maybe a motorcycle or a trailer plate there. This Virginia. I like this Indiana one. It's cool. It reminds me of the Houston Astros colors there. I got this Indiana one. You get to see the the uh, Indy sports car in the back. So it looks like at least. 79. Here's another 80s. 1980 Indiana one. 78. A couple of Kentucky ones. Mid 80s. Uh, we got this Astros bat from 95, 93. I have a few of these. I'll just add it to my collection. I kind of like these. These are pretty cool here. These realistic. Like uh, two-way radios or multi-channel radios, whatever they're called. I'm going to have to see if they, uh, if I can plug them in and charge them, see if they'll work. Because these are kind of cool. I don't know how much they're worth, though. This is a motorcycle bag. It goes on a. Let me see if I can get this set up here so y'all can look while I look. And uh, I didn't check to see if there's anything in here to be honest with you. So. Looks like it's empty. Looks like it's new to be honest. Let's see. There's nothing in here. Yeah, this sucker very well may be new. It's just dirty on the outside from. Be in the garage. Oh no! A couple of uh, crystal lights. <laughs> Let's see. That's that. <clears throat> Got some golf clubs. These are my Predator. Or Predator. This is also by Predator, right? No. Murfield. You got this group of ones here that are by a company called this is Executive Spalding Professional. And same thing. And these are Northwestern. These are all Northwestern there. Don't know nothing about that, but we're gonna see if we can look them up. A bunch of a uh, couple wiring. I want to give this to Chris so he can scrap it. 16 gauge pure copper stranding. You should be able to get some good money for that. Okay, then going over here. Of course, you'll remember all the CDs. That's going to do pretty good. I'll take those all to the booth, put a buck each on them. Sell those there. You got an animal trap there. This pretty set right here. Wicker rocker set. I'll say that three times. Wicker rocker, wicker rocker. Uh, the Wicker Rocker set with the little uh, table there. The table looks like you could use a glass piece or something right here on top. Because it's kind of bowed a little bit. But you can use it just as is like that. It's not in bad condition. The chairs are great condition. They're real sturdy. Look really good. And then we got this guy right here. So, quick overview you guys. Look at this. I have to check out the fans if it works. Got all the books. I covered the books up that way just in case it started raining. They didn't get wet. All these boxes full of clothes. So we're gonna look at all this stuff here. You never know what's gonna find when you start digging through clothes, guys. You never know. So can't wait to go through that. The wheelchair. We'll show you a closer look when we get close. Uh, get that opened up. What else? Anything in here? Oh yeah, there's one thing in here. Alright, yeah, there was this guy here. Um, there's some prints and posters and stuff in here. But, I'll go through this uh, when we get through that. So we'll put this to the side. And let me start unboxing, let me start taking stuff out. And uh, I'm going to plug that guy in and see if it works. And then this guy, I'm, I don't know what this is. Some kind of I don't know it looks like it would be some kind of sandblaster maybe that's what I'm thinking like you'd put your item here stage your your guy there turn it on it is sandblaster. Oh, it's liquid level no it's just highest liquid level so I wonder what this is 
I'm about to do some research, guys. But if you know what this is, if you're watching this video and you know what that is, please do leave a comment because of right now, I have no clue at all. All right, so here we got a couple boxes that we're going to go through, plus this, which I'm pretty sure, well, we all know what this is, guys. Y'all remember that from back in the late 70s, early 80s? Oh, this is a bit of a newer one, actually. Okay, this is a Sony Handycam. Um, I'll be honest with you, this is probably better. You got the extra battery pack here. Got a bunch of tapes. Are they blank though? I don't know. Looks like a bunch of tapes. A remote. Is this for the same one? No, I don't think so. I'm going to have to go through here and kind of finish, fix, sort through all this really to make sure what goes with this. And what doesn't because if these here are probably more valuable than the old heavy ones NASA launch guess that's pretty cool see this guy I believe whoever this stuff comes from I think he worked for NASA because there's a bunch of NASA stuff that I saw kind of right off the top of my head I don't know, so right off the top of the bat from looking through these boxes and uh, this right here this is kind of cool this would be collectors out of NASA launch guess um, I thought there's a lot of these out there so that's very, very cool. I like that. That'd be really cool if there was some original launch footage on here. So now I'm really going to have to look through because that could be really, really cool. Some original launch footage. There's some more stuff in here. Got some NASA Discovery, just like little medallion coins. Nothing spectacular there. It got these glasses. Now these are 12 karat gold filled. I was about to say, guys, always look at these glasses, these old ones, and make sure um, they're not gold. These are gold filled. They're not solid gold plated. I mean, they're not solid gold, but still gold filled. What brand are they? American Optical. So. I'll probably list these as vintage gold filled glasses to see if anybody wants to buy them on eBay. Kind of neat. So that's a pretty good score there, guys. Always look for that. Not a bad way to start. Let's go to the next box. Oh yeah, now this was the, I called just a surprise box because I have no idea. This looks like it's a knight or something of some sort, maybe. Or a pilot, maybe? I don't know. Mechanic? A pilot. It's in here. Ah. <laughs> so, we got a bottle of liquor. Sabroso Liquor Cafe. So that would go in here and hold the bottle as such. You see how that works? That's pretty neat. Wow, it looks like we got a bunch of liquor in here. A bottle of tequila. Oh, that's a Hack Winery. Uh, this is a winery that's here in in Santa Fe. I've been to this winery before. They got some good wine. So we got that bottle there. Another hack, man, look at that. That's so neat. That This is like my, one of my wife's uh, new favorite uh, wineries and, and wines that we're finding this now in the trash. Uh, this is another decent bottle here. The next bottle, Muscat Love, Orange Muscato, Texas High Plains, Double Vineyards. This is from Fredericksburg. Also a local winery, not far from here. I've got Iris coming out right now to see this stuff because I want to see what her reaction when she sees these uh, these bottles. I know she doesn't like them. Babe, why don't you check out these bottles? Let me know what you think. Ooh, they're pretty. 
I like those. <laughs> those are mine now. Yeah, those are yours. <laughs> so I was telling the people that this is like our new found like vineyard that we like to go to, and it's so cool that we found these. This is Madeira that we we drank in this one. We tasted this one. This is a Cabernet Sauvignon, which is a decent one too. So they're they're not old, so we could add these right to the collection and maybe pop them open tonight. Yeah. <laughs> there you go. So what do you think? Yeah, this pretty one's cool, even huh? pretty looking, but we've okay. had this one. Yeah, we've had that one. Okay. And I, well, I think I had this one. This is more going to be uh, like a... Dryer? A dryer red, yeah. So, so thought I'll show you these. I don't know if you want this one or not. This is a Moscato. Or no, it says Muskrat. But it's an orange Moscato. I'll try that one. Yeah. All yes. right. <laughs> Thanks for coming by, baby. Cool. Good night. <laughs> <laughs> and just like that, the claim. So let's go on to the next box here. Oh, yes. This is the box that got me most excited. Let me show you why. Look how pretty that is. Look how pretty that is. And for those who know antiques, already know what this is. Please, don't be broken. Oh my gosh, it's not broken. Okay. I'm so glad this is not broken. Let me get this out carefully so that I don't break it. This is what they, it's famously known as the, oh, come on, baby. I'm about to figure this out. I'm about to figure this out. There's a little bolt down here to tighten it up. But a gone with the wind lamp is kind of what they call these things. This goes here on top. I don't think it's good for the booth because it doesn't seem to be in the greatest condition but this would go here and then this guy would go right on top this way oh hold on maybe it goes in this first yeah this goes in here first and then let's get this locked in good and that goes in like that so this is kind of uh it's not in the best condition guys Definitely need some work, but tell me that's not a pretty lamp. And to find this in the trench is, to me, pretty amazing. Very nice lamp. So glad I found this guy. This is one that got me excited. This box right here. When I saw that, I knew right away what it was. Let's see what's in here. Okay, got that. So we're gonna hold on to this. See if we can fix it up a little bit in the. If I could fix it to where it's sturdy and not wobbling around, I'll put it at the booth. If not, I'm going to sell it as is on Facebook. All right, next box. Next box. We had this Samsung entertainment system. Here's your subwoofer here. You got your center speaker. You got... Oh, this is a, an, an antenna. There's a charger of some sort. You got your other speakers here, your left and right speakers. Um, you got some kind of DVD player down here. So let's take this off first. This is a three three disc Blu-ray player. This is a nice player. I'm telling you guys, I'm I'm finding this is stuff people buy at garage sales, and I'm finding it for free in the trash. If you're not taking advantage. Of trash picking and you're a reseller you're missing out oh this is a motorola this this guy's here i haven't had any luck with these these at&t boxes some people say you can sell them i haven't had any luck you got this real good uh power search protector that's actually a good one there so what else we got anything else no so we got it looks like a three-way speaker with your left right center and your boat and your subwoofer so that's a decent score there all right this next box is gonna be looks like it's all clothing so we might not take too long going through this box what kind of shirts we're looking at cinch miller stockman Planes, planes. Uh, let's put this here. 
See, now this is the stuff that I'm looking for. NASA celebrating 50 years. So here's a celebratory shirt from NASA. Okay, what is this? This is heavy. This is heavy. This is interesting. Oh man, look at that. This is something nice right here. Is this? Wow, look at that, guys. These are like chaps, like riding chaps. Barn stable riding, these could be worth a lot of money right here. These are, these are leather for sure, like natural leather. That's a score right there, guys. So you guys can kind of get an idea of what we found. And this is just one box. Look at all these shirts. That is a lot. All right, on to the next box. This is more clothing. I know it's nothing exciting, but sometimes it can be exciting. You know? I looked up those leather chaps. They're not as much as I thought they were gonna be. Um, if they were motorcycle, like Harley Davidson chaps, it would be worth a lot more money. Uh, but those are for like horseback riding and they were about 60 bucks. So not, not a bad score, not chump change, but not as expensive as I thought they were gonna be, or hoping they would be. So it looks like here, looks like I got some suits. I don't know how to open this up. Right here. We got some sweaters. Some more sweaters. <laughs> Look at these vacuum sealed all this stuff. So Sun Devils. Rose Bowl 87. That's very cool. It's definitely vintage. I mean, it says it in the year itself. Here's another Sun Devils shirt. Arizona State. T-shirt here. Systems Engineer Simulator Crew. Double XL. Looks like it might fit me. All right, I gotta go with Irish Gold to pick up something. I'll be right back. All right, so I did go through the rest of those clothes. Um, bunch of suits, bunch of wool like sports coats. I'm sure they might be worth some money. I have to look them up. I don't know if I'm just gonna donate them because I don't do well with clothes. I just don't have the patience for them. But I did find a couple things that were kind of cool. First was this little Snoopy tie pin. I think it's silver. And then even more cool was this, this, uh, it says 10 karat gold, 14 karat gold, little tie pin. I'm sure there's a little diamond inside. So that's definitely a good little score. I'm not sure if this is gold. Doesn't look like it, but uh, this guy definitely is. Let's clean it up and uh, yeah, clean that up and it'll definitely be uh, worth a little bit. I've been keeping everything that's gold that I found here recently. I've just been keeping everything. So uh, let's go through some more boxes. Let's see, we got a bunch of movies. We got a bunch of movies in here. We're really not gonna go through that. I'm not sure if we're gonna keep these or maybe just donate them all. See, that's brand new. So we'll go through those and see if there's anything worth trying to sell. I'm likely gonna get all donated. What I'm gonna do, guys, this looks like a bunch of t-shirts. All right, more clothing. Look at that. See, that's what I'm looking for. NASA patch on that guy. So I'll go through all this stuff here, see if there's anything worth showing y'all. I'll go through these clothes here, and I'll show you guys here that in a second. All right, so there's nothing... Uh, <clears throat> well, I say there's nothing like really special about this. Uh, some of these boots can go for good money. It just depends on the condition. I think these are... I think these are like work boots. I don't think they're snow boots because they're... What kind of boots are these? BMW made in Romania. Hmm. Okay, that's interesting. BMW, huh? SIDI? I can't make out that name. Cynthia Tex. Some more boots. These are stainless steel. Alright, so then you got these Ariats. These are ladies. These are also Ariats. 
uh, leather boots here. And you got those other SIDI. I'm going to have to look these up because I really think these are like riding boots because they're steel toe. I've, I've never seen snow boots that are steel toe. And then uh, Frank Thomas gloves. I think these are riding gloves. Uh, you know, Tour Master. I believe these are we're all riding gloves. These are some heavy duty ones right here. What else? Oh, yeah, these shirts. Uh, those are a bunch of clothes, obviously, that you guys saw. I mean, look at all these clothes so far. Got this pack of clothes right here. These two boxes full of clothes. And you got this big old pile of clothes right here. But the ones that I saw here that I liked, I got this one here. I think they were called barber shirts, I think. Cabana shirts or something. Cuba. That's kind of nice there. The Hawaiian shirt. My dad's coming by later on to take a look at these, see if he likes any of them. Look at that, that's a nice little shirt right there. They're nice. Yucatan, it's made in Mexico. And then this other Hawaiian shirt. Different Hawaiian beers. This is kind of near here. I might try to sell this one online. And then there's a bunch of other, like here's a, a NASA shirt. Here's a BMW shirt there. Another NASA shirt and a uh, human research program. Uh, I kept this t-shirt because it's a Harley Davidson shirt and it's from Hawaii. Big Island, Kona, Harley Davidson. Kailua, Kona, Hawaii. And then uh, this space program t-shirt. That's cool. This Apollo 40 years t-shirt. You got this Apollo 40 year anniversary t-shirt. And then you saw this one over here already. So I could, these are the ones I'm going to try to sell. Hopefully. If I get the motivation to sell them. Alright, so that's that pile right there. We don't have much else to go through. Let's see. Maybe I could do this here on the fly. Okay, well, here's these rotors. This is going to be scrap metal for Sharp. Um, for Chris. Oh yeah, there's a bunch of books too. Gosh, there's a bunch of books, guys. And some of these might be NASA related too, or engineering related. Look at this, see? NASA Technical Memorandum. Advanced Control Technology for Potential Future Transport Aircraft. Look at that. That's some cool information there. I don't know if there's a market for that. I'm sure there might be. What's in here? Training program. Training program for NASA. And who knows? Writing AFFTC technical reports. This is all like a foreign language to me. Control data, computer systems. Oh, there's a lot of stuff in here. And really just... I mean, take my time. I'm, I can't get back there. Um, I showed you all the DVDs. Got the pogo stick. Oh yeah, this guy here. This wheelchair. This is probably the best wheelchair I've ever found. It's got the, the body support there. Um, it's got the, the adjustable headrest. It's got the, the legs and the feet rest that adjust with a seatbelt to tie you in. Uh, these adjust in and out as well. You got this big old Dell computer. I mean, this is a huge computer. It's very heavy. I wonder, I wonder if it's got, I'm sure a lot of these computers got scrap gold in it that you can extract from these computers somehow. I'll have to see if this is one that's worth scrapping because it could be. Uh, you got that, that metal shelf. You got this fan. I'm going to go plug in this fan and see if it works. I could have been having it on this whole time. You know, I really wasn't sure if this one was going to work, but man. I plugged it in. There you go. It's spinning. Nice cold air. Wow, I can't believe it. Alright, so that works. 
Uh, that's great news. This fan right here is probably about a $200 fan. High Velocity Flow Pro. Sometimes when I get home after a night of picking, I realize that I bit off way more than I can chew. And guys, I've been going through these books and this guy was obviously an aeronautical engineer. I'm not sure if he was an astronaut or not. I have to do more research, but he had a bunch of books, crazy amount of books. And I'm gonna show you just a couple of them, just kind of get an idea. I got a friend who's gonna come by tomorrow and see if he wants to buy all of them or even just give them, I mean, if, if I sell it to him, I'm selling them for really cheap, but I think there's some money to be made in some of these. Let's take a look. So here's all these old rocket propulsion, introduction to space dynamics, uh, standard math tables, uh, air officer's guide, advanced calculus, uh, introduction to nuclear engineering, there's just a bunch of books like that. Um, these are, I mean, here's a vector analysis, elements of analogy and topology, fall quarter 1968, off, uh, instructor Captain McCain. So this is like actual tests and stuff like that that these guys took. Design data for aeronautics and, aer and astronautics. And that's, I mean, that's a pretty cool book, I think flight manual book basics for the a37b i mean this is all pretty interesting stuff i don't see anything that says like you know um top secret or whatever but what's this over here performance aerodynamic theory some interesting books like that Flight dynamics for rigid and elastic airplanes. But then you got a bunch of paperback kind of sci fi novels. Um, let me show you some of the ones I got over here. I kind of, I think, I'm thinking I'm going to keep these for the booth. Some of these uh, sci fi novels they look kind of neat and I think they'll look nice because of the colored pages on them. To put in the book uh, into into the booth. Uh, you got these right here that are Franklin Herbert, Dune Messiah. There's a bunch of those Star Wars trilogy, but I think my favorite book that I found so far was this one right here. Jaws, a novel. I don't know if it's the first edition. 1974. So I gotta look to see about this one. Cause this is really cool. I mean, that's something that I might think about keeping. Then you got the Stephen King book, the Bachman books, four early novels by Stephen King. Rage, A Long Walk, Roadwork, Running Man. Oh, the Running Man's a good one. But these are all like Tom Clancy and Josh, I'm um, sorry, John Grisham books. And then a couple other ones that are not. Some more, just, I don't know, different types of books. And to be honest, I'm gonna sell those books to my friend really, really cheap. I mean, just as long as he takes them off my hands is really all I'm looking for. I'm gonna keep a few of those over there just because I think they'll look cool in the booth, like I said. And that should wrap it up, guys. I think you guys got a look, good look at everything else. I think the last thing I wanna do is plug in that parts washer to see if it works and then now uh, yeah, let me plug that in and see if it works and then we'll end the video well this guy is actually a lot cleaner than i thought it was i kind of wiped it down man this like it looks pretty clean and um you turn it on and all it is is a little pump and you can hear the pump sound like it's starting for some water so i'm gonna say that works uh, i'm not sure exactly what this is supposed to do i don't know if it's pressures it up i don't i'm, I'm really not sure but we're gonna call that good. And uh, if I can find comps, I'll put them here. But that's a pretty neat time. So yep, good working condition. I think <laughs> that's definitely working. Here were these snow boots. Burton. I'll clean them up and see what I can get for them. I went ahead and took out that wheelchair. Yeah, the wheelchair is in excellent condition. This is gonna this is gonna give me some good money right here, guys. Good condition here. Uh, the rest of this stuff right here for now, I'm going to take to Chris's 
Um, he's always looking for shelving, so I'm gonna give him those shelves. And then uh, I'm gonna give them, this is gonna be scrap metal. That pogo stick doesn't work, so we're gonna scrap it. All these golf clubs are really cheap. They're not that expensive and they're missing the grips on most of them. So I don't think it's worth the time to grip them up and try to sell them. So we're gonna scrap those. You got your, your rotors there. Oh, and here's this last thing I wanted to show you. I almost forgot about this. All right. So we're gonna see what kind of artwork this guy has. What kind of prints he's working with. So you got this guy here. It's a photograph of NASA. I want to thank my friends in ARL. I don't know. I don't even know who these guys here that are signing this. I'm not sure what that is. I thought that was cool. Man, look at that, guys. This is really, really cool stuff. Here. Got this photograph of this pilot. Very cool, in my opinion. Very, very, very cool. Got this other one. Might be the same pi pilot. And I'm about to go through these signatures, man, because you just never know which one of these signatures might have been an astronaut. No, look at that. My goodness. Chuck Miller. Thanks. Kinko. So, yeah. I'm really excited about this stuff right here. There's another one back here. Oh, yeah, I forgot about this guy. So. Exciting stuff. Can't wait to post that. Y'all let me know what y'all think. All right, guys. Well, that's going to do it for today's video. What a night and what a day of going through all this stuff. Uh, very overwhelming. Um, I think I'm going to find good homes for all of this stuff, either to my friend Chris, my friend Larry, my dad, or to get it donated. Most of the stuff will be gone by tomorrow. Um, stuff I will be keeping to sell is that fan that washing tub things, some of the golf clubs, CDs, a handful of books. Um, this stuff here. And just a couple of things, there won't be too much. A lot of the stuff will be gone. Let me see, I can't think of what my favorite find is. Y'all let me know in the comments uh, what your favorite find of the night was. And uh, let's see uh, who's got, you know, the most, the most votes on the, on the coolest thing for the find of the night. And, uh, Man, I think I'm going to say my favorite thing is this NASA stuff right here. I'm always looking for that kind of stuff. Oh, also that gold tie pin. That's 14 karat gold. That's pretty cool, too. Huh. With that being said, guys, thank you so much again for watching. I really do appreciate you guys. Um, and with this, Father, we just want to thank you, Lord, just for an incredible night of picking, for saving just the amazing things out of the trash that we get to save, Lord. Uh, be able to find new homes uh, for those who maybe can't afford this stuff new. Uh, give away a lot of stuff to people who can't afford these clothes, Father. Uh, you know, help other resellers to sell them stuff for real cheap, Father. They can make some money on to help grow their business. And it's just a cycle of kind of life, Father, for us resellers. And I just thank you for giving me the opportunity to uh, just get out there and find this stuff, Lord. I just want to ask you, Father, that you would reach through the channels of YouTube, Father, that you would place your hands on the hearts of those, Father, who are hurting. For those who are feeling loneliness, Father, depression, Lord, that you would that you would just, in the Holy Spirit, just bind that spirit of loneliness, bind that spirit of depression, Father, and, and, just, and just remove it from their hearts, Lord, that they know that you are the God of gods, the King of kings, and the Lord of lords, Father, and that through you, they can do anything, Father. I just ask you, Lord, that you just be with these, Father, in spirit, that you let them know that they're not alone, Father, and that you heal those, Father, who are sick, uh, those who are through, going through pain, Father, that you mend them, Father, uh, to 100%. Uh, we believe in miracles, Father. You're the same God of yesterday who created miracles back in the Bible days, Father. You're the same God that makes miracles today, Lord. And we believe it and we claim it in Jesus' name. Uh, Father, we just thank you, Lord, just for the many blessings and for the continued love, Father, that you give us. Though we don't deserve it, Father, you're merciful beyond means. And we're thankful and, we th and, uh, and we're grateful for it. 
Uh, we lift up this prayer in Jesus' name. Amen. All right, guys. Hope you guys receive this message. Hope you guys receive this prayer. Hope you guys are liking the videos. Hit like, subscribe if you have and yet. Uh, let's me know that we're doing a good job and YouTube know that, that you want to see my videos more often. Um, with that being said, guys, thank you again so much from the bottom of my heart. Uh, you know, uh, we love you here from the Texan Picker Channel. Until next time, peace.